And look at this, we are cruising and we're not even at full sails yet. Holy crap. We are absolutely cruising. Now we got a little bit of wind. We're gonna take this guy up the starboard side. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that health go down, baby. What's going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. I really hope you are. And if you are, excellent. It is midnight yet again, and yet again, we are back <laughs> on Atlas. Merlin just dropped a piece of ice down my back. I'm sorry, that kind of scared me a little bit. If you look behind me, there are two gigantic ships. On the left, we have a schooner. On the right, we have a brigantine. Now, can you guys guess who did that? I mean, in two days, literally in two days, Scoobs has joined and he has built a schooner on the left and a freaking brigantine that is already ready to float. He's still working on it now. He's actually on. You can see him running around on the very tip of that, that ship right there. And as you can also see, I also changed my lantern color to slate. If you guys are playing the game and you would like a white lantern instead of a yellow, bright, annoying lantern, then go ahead and change it to slate. Okay, we've got a, a few things that I want to go over today. However, there's one thing that I'm kind of... Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah. Oh, that wasn't good. I fell right off the freaking mast. Okay, as you can see, I have finished the top deck of the schooner. Now, I started doing all of this stuff. I got a whole bunch of the stuff done that is required to actually build this thing. I wasn't going to build cannons till I realized how easy it is to actually make cannons. I've built all 10 of them. I also built our resource box. I built our ammo box. I built our planks, all the planks we need, and I built the rest of the gun ports. On top of that, I built a lauder to feed a bunch of NPCs. I built some storage. I built everything it's going to take, also a small speed sail, to, to finish this. However, I haven't finished it. And let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because I started working on everything, and something just kind of came to mind. Something hit me. And I'm thinking, this is a bad idea. So let me show you. We're going to go underwater right here, right by the beach. If you look up, there is our rudder, right? If you look down, there is the sand. That's the beach. I don't think that this ship is going to be able to launch without scuttling. I have a feeling it's going to scuttle. And I'm super, super freaking nervous about it. So I'm kind of holding off on building it, but at the same time we can finish it. But at the same time, I'm thinking I'm going to scuttle this. Do I just want to, do I just want to, you know, scuttle it now? I shouldn't say scuttle it, but, uh, you know, take it apart now and at least have some of the stuff left over and be able to rebuild it. Or do I want to try it? And if it scuttles, then it's going to be absolutely hilarious. I don't know. But before we do anything, we need some new clothes. I've been out treasure hunting a little bit with Scoobs. We are going to do some hide. And I want to get into the height, so let's go ahead and do some hide boots, hide gloves, headpiece, pantyhose, and the body piece. We're going to put these bad boys on, and we're going to take these ugly cloth clothes. Because if you look at the cloth, it looks like... It looks like... Well, I guess if you take the pants off. It looks like what they used to wear back in, like, the 20s when they went swimming. The, the frilly, you know, uh, swimming suits and stuff. No, put it back on. You know, I might as well just take all of this off. Let's do a hit. Let's do this. Let's take it all off. So I haven't decided if I want to actually just kind of tear apart the ship now or if we should. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to finish it. If it scuttles, it's going to be hilarious. Whatever. OK, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go here. I'm going to go into here. I can't. Nine. Nine. Turn off. Turn on. OK, let's see what we look like in this leather stuff. OK, where is the leather stuff? Uh, that's cloth. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna throw this stuff because we don't want cloth anymore. This stuff sucks. Cloth, cloth. That is hide, and I believe those are cloth. Okay, so we're gonna throw all those away, and we're about to, in the words of the great slip gator, piratize ourselves. Gloves, headpiece, pantyhose. Why are you not equipping? Thank you. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are now. What? Okay. 
Do I have to press K again for you guys? Yeah, look at that. A little bit of server lag. Look at that. We actually look pretty cool, to be honest with you. I like the way that the leather looks. It makes you look like a true pirate. I love it. Okay, now that we look real cool, let's go ahead and finish off the ship. As you can see, I've done some work on the house. I'm not going to go over it yet because I'm really worried about this, this ship. There's a shark out there. Either that's or it's a tuna. But we're going to finish this off just enough to where it can float. As long as we can get it to where we can float it, then I'm going to go ahead and if it scuttles, then it scuttles. We'll see. Okay, so we've got enough planks to do the bottom. Let's go ahead and finish off. Now, I'm not going to do the back yet because we need to do the cabin first. It's better to do it that way. So let's do the bottom. So one, two, and it should be three, four, five, should be seven, six. It's only six. We're going to have some extra planks. That's okay. I don't mind that. Because the medium planks, one, two, three, five, six. No, we're not. We're, it is seven. Yeah, I don't know what I'm smoking. Okay, so the brigantine actually takes medium as well. So we'll be good with that. It's not very good with this blur. This, the, the yeah, of the light. The, what's it called? The blur effect of the light or the, the, I can't remember. The bloom, that's what it is. It's making it hard to see. Okay, so we got three left. Did I forget one? I did forget one. There was one other place that I wanted to put one. So we'll take one of those. We'll go ahead and take the gunny ports. Gunny, gunny ports here. And we'll go on the other side here and we'll set these up. Like I said, I'm just going to get it to the point where we can float it. And once it's floating, we're going to, I guess we're just going to go ahead and release it and hope to God that it doesn't scuttle. Because there's not really any reason for me to, you know to put everything on if I'm 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 anxious that it's going to scuttle. Okay, so what else have I done? I've built the mast, I built all the other stuff. Oh, I put ladders up the uh, mast. That's really all I've done. <sighs> I've done nothing else downstairs. Here we go. We're going to do this. And if this works, we're going to finish it off and then we're going to go possibly go get some NPCs or something like that. So I think what we need to do, god, that bloom effect is just killing me. Hold for options. Uh, ship options. Access ship. I don't know how to release this thing. Yep. I'm an idiot. Couldn't figure out why my ship wouldn't release. Okay. Press F. Uh, nope. Hold E. Release ship. Here we go. Oh, yep. It did hit the ground. Did you see it pushed us forward? Okay. So this is going to be... Should we do the SS? Or should we just do... Okay. Yeah, let's do the SS Sandman. This is the Sandman, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, it did push us forward. You see that? When we let go. See how we're all crooked and stuff? So we did hit the bottom. And it did push us forward. But ever so slightly. Let's see if there's any damage to the rudder. Uh, there, yeah, there's a little bit of damage, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Thank goodness. So now we need to get back on. And for some reason, I'm kind of glitching out right there. We need to get back on. We need to anchor it, and then we can go ahead and we can finish it off. So press E, press X. Okay, we are anchored. That way we're not going anywhere. And now we can go ahead and finish it. Okay, so first of all, let's do the fast stuff, shall we? We've got cannons. How many can I hold? One, two, three, four, five. We can probably do five, but I don't know if I'll be able to jump over to the ship if we do five. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get this stuff all ready to go. We'll go down. We'll do our cannons. God, man, the ship's going to throw you around a little bit. There is one problem with the schooner and the super large mass. Um, mast. If you see that, you can't. If I do this, you can't get by it. You have to open up the gun port to get by. That is one problem, but in my opinion, it's a it's a necessary sacrifice for the speed ship, if you're going to ask me. And you're not asking me, but I'm telling you anyway. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so it makes me re... Yeah, open them up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do those. I'm going to finish those off. I'll be right back. 
All right, the cannons are in. Now we need the most important stuff. I'm not sure exactly where he's going to put this. This is the larder for the uh, for the NPCs. I was thinking about putting in the center here, but I kind of noticed that inadvertently I've made a pretty cool area back here. So I was thinking, eh, maybe I'll just put stuff back in here. This way, it's out of the way. I can't actually see where this stuff is, but it's out of the way. It's clipping through. Nope, that's not going to work at all. We don't like that at all. Let's try that again. I was thinking we need to get the we need to get the smithy in here too. How big is the smithy? Uh, there's the smithy. So the smithy. We could pro okay, so we go ahead. It, there's a heat wave going on. That's why my 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 character's kind of breathing like a. Yeah, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that right there and see if those two. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just make it. I, I'm so indecisive today. I'm so indecis indec indecisive. Let's just go like that. I'm going to put you there. We're going to throw the smithy over here. Okay, but that makes it so it's hard to actually get into the larder, right? How about... Right there. Does that work? That's good enough. We can get into the larder to feed the NPCs. We can get into the smithy. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw... Let's see, where do we want to put the ammo box? Let's go ahead and put the ammo box right up here. We'll put it right underneath, out of the way. And then for easy access, I'm going to go ahead and stick our resource box back here. Uh, but that's going to be kind of in the way. So we'll just put it right over here for now. If I decide I want it somewhere else, that's fine. I can move it later. All right. Let's go ahead and do the ceilings for our cabin here. And I think what we can also do is we can go ahead and put... Do we have enough weight for the ca uh, the cannonballs? No, we do not. But we have enough that we can take a couple cannonballs. We got storage we need to put in there. And we got ceilings. And then we got walls. Okay, I'm getting too heavy for my own britches. Let's go ahead and do this. So we'll go here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hope and pray that I can actually get a decent look out of these ceilings. Hope and pray that we get a decent look out of these ceilings. Because when they stick out the back like that, they suck. It's just ugly. See that? But I don't know if I really care, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Uh, let's see. Pick up wood ceilings. So what we can also do is we can also try doing something like this. Let's go down to the triangle ceiling. We could do something like that. So they're not sticking out. That way we've got a little... See, that's one of the problems is you've got clipping like that. Ceiling can't place inside ship boundary because it's dumb. And that's what I was thinking about not... That's why I was thinking about not actually doing the back panels on it. Oh, see, they still stick out too. But it's not half as bad. I think Scoobs is over there getting ran over by an elephant. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so here's my idea. This is the only thing I can think of. Uh, and that's just, just to fill it in with triangles as much as I can without having triangles kind of show up. So if I can do something like this... And then... Maybe something like that. Did I already use all my freaking ceilings? I did. And then I think what that's going to do is it's going to leave a space over here, but they're not really super sticking out of the back end. Um, T. T. I guess they stick out of the side a little bit. But if I do something like this... I think it's still going to stick out the back end. I don't have enough to... See, that's one of the things they need to fix. Am I? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. You can't really see it at all. There's Scooby. I don't know what he's doing. Let's go ahead and put the sail on it. I don't remember what I did with the sail. What did I do with the sail? Do I have it on me? I do. I have it on me. Do you? Okay, so we can put it way back here, which is a very weird spot to put that. We can actually really put it anywhere we want. 
But I was thinking, eh, we'll just kind of put it... There's not really much I'm going to put up front here. Um... I just want it as far forward as possible, I believe. So we're going to put that cell up there. That should look pretty good. I think I can... I don't even... I probably won't even put any, any rope ladders on it. Uh, and then I need... What do I need for more of these? Uh, ceiling. C C C ceiling. What do I need? We need more thatch. I've got more thatch in here. And then I'll see if I can finish this off. I think it's still going to have a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a corner to it. I think I need two. Yeah, I think it's still going to have a little bit of a corner to it, but uh, I should say a, a corner sticking out. I There we go. Okay, so seven. T. And then over here. So I think we still have that little piece right there. Why are you trying to punch things? Is that really... Oh, no, it doesn't really stick out of the back that bad. You can barely even tell. Okay, so that's a pretty cool way to do that. I mean, you still got that opening right there, and there's no way I'm going to put anything right there because it's going to be... It's going to be ugly. It will stick out the side. It's too bad you can't have something that will form fit in there. But then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some walls down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and here. I think I'm going to need more walls. And then we'll go here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so we need more walls. What do we need? One, two, three. I think should do it. Yeah, that'll be three. All right, so we go here. No, we're going to need four and five. So we're actually going to need two more. Because we need to do the try. And of course, I don't have enough materials for two more. Awesome. So we're going to need to do the angles. Uh, T. That angle there, but cued around so it's right there, right? Is that going to work? No, no. Why are you? No, click. No, over and, and down. Why? Is that it right there? Or is that the wrong side out? Wrong side in? Wrong side out. No, that looks good right there. Okay, so wait, how did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. Now I need more. What? Now what do I need? This is getting frustrating. I thought I had more thatch again. I thought I had all those stuff ready for it. Dang it. Okay, so where's... I know we got more thatch in here. Okay, so we got more thatch. I can do one more. That should finish off that wall. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make railings so I don't fall down that hole. Because I will fall down that hole. I know I will. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Seven. Wait. We don't need... Yes, we do. I am so confused today. What am I doing? Here we go. Okay. Oh, well, that one went in real easy. All right. There's the cabin. It doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Looks all right. Like I said, it got a little bit of space right there, but I'm good with that. I don't know if you can actually fall down that. Oh, you can't. You can't. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't really have to worry about... I am stuck, though. I don't really have to worry about railings or anything. Maybe I'll put some railings up and stuff around it. Okay. So here's that. Let's see. What else did we have to do? We had to put ammunition in it. I need to fill up our resource box so we can go ahead and... Oh, and we need to paint it too. Yeah, we got to paint it. Oh, and we got storage that we need to put in too. Let's go ahead and throw some storage in. And then we get this sucker ready. Where should I put the storage? We could probably put the storage right there, right? Of course, how am I going to... How am I going to access it in the back? I mean, I guess I could put... I put one down there. Or is it going to go through? Yep, it's going to go right through the friggin'. Okay, so let's see if we can just put... How would we do that? How would we go... I have to go here and then somehow try and magically spin it into place. Like a glove. Okay, so I think that I've kind of got this figured out. Now, Scoobs' crew, we went and got Scro Scoobs' a crew the other day. And he can't pay his crew anymore. 
uh, because we haven't been going out getting gold, really. So I figured I'm going to steal his. Uh, he probably could use him for the Brigantine, but he doesn't have the gold to pay him to keep him around until he's done with the Brigantine. So I'm going to take his, his poopy pantaloons um, schooner crew, and we're going to put them on the Sandman. Now it's pretty easy to put to put guys on your ship. Um, I made ladders. I've done a bunch of work on it. As you can see, uh, I went ahead and figured out the ceiling. I put some railings on. I know this looks kind of dorky, but when you put railings straight across, they stick out the back, and it's really bad looking. On top of that, remember how I said the 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 planks in the back? I needed to wait till. To put them on last and well yeah now i can't put railings across the back whatever not a big deal so to put crew on all you got to do is look at like the mass the mast and press the comma and put one guy there and then i need to go downstairs and i need to start assigning these guys to cannons so to do that we just look at a cannon and go here and here there there one there one there now i think i need to actually get up top and open up the gun ports i don't think i actually got all of his guys either i know he has more guys i need to get up top i need to open up the gun ports which is r so i can get guys past then we got it okay so there's our sales dude I think I left some of the other guys back here. Let's see if we can go get the rest of them. Hopefully. All right. I think I got the rest of them. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I hope I did. Okay. So let's put one on this sail. Awesome. No, I don't. What are you, what are you guys doing? I didn't mean all of you come. It's just what What's going on with you people? I'm pressing T on you. Follow me. Where did the other one go? Uh, these guys have no idea what they're doing. I'm I'm looking at the sail. One of you, please, get on the sail. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can put a couple more cannoneers below. I'm not sure if I lost one or not. All right, let's put another one. Yeah, it looks like we've lost more than one. I don't know where they all went. But I'm kind of bummed out about that because we're... I was thinking about, man, maybe we'll just go ahead and, you know, attack a Brigadine or a SOTD. I can't think tonight, guys. I really can't think tonight. We're going to test this thing out. We got a couple on the sails, which is good. I've got everything done. In our storage, we got couple buckets. I don't even know how to use those. Uh, we got the gold to use for those guys, which... I need to put the rest of that back in there. Got metal, wood, fiber, all the repairing stuff. We've got 200 cannons just in case the S, the, the fit hits the Shan. Um, and we've got pretty much everything we need. We're going to go out and test it. It is now daytime. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and close that off. Pop up this. Okay, so now to steer, I have to hit Shift and A and D. Shift A and D, Shift A and D. Why aren't the Why aren't they turning the sails for me? Okay, seriously, Shift A and D, but is not working. Okay, what if I hit forward? Okay, we are undocked. Let's go ahead and put down the gun ports. All right, so this is a problem that I had the other day with Scoobs. It says we're undocked, but we're not undocked. Um, we're not unanchored. It still says we're unanchored. I'm trying to move forward. There we go. There we go. Okay, so are you opening the sails? All right, we are off, ladies and gentlemen. The Sandman, the SS Sandman, our schooner is off. And I've done a little painting, as you can see. Just a little bit, not much. And look at this, we are cruising and we're not even at full sails yet. Holy crap! We are absolutely cruising!
And we're getting a little bit of lag, but that's all right. That's just what happens when you take off for the first time in this game. They need to optimize a little bit, but what can you do? You know, what can you do? Oh, yeah. Look at this. We are cruising. Okay, so with these bigger... Okay, so as you can see, I went red and blue. And with these bigger sails, you can't really see over them. So I have to hit K, and then I got to spin around, and I got to zoom all the way back if I really want to see far. And look how fast we're moving. This thing is fast. We are absolutely cruising. Now, one of the things about the game is we're at 9,000 weight. We're at, well, our max is 9,000. We're at 6,418. When you hit around 7,000, you're at 75% of 9,000. Okay? That's when you start slowing down. So right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give us a little bit more weight just I'm, I might put like four or five maybe six into weight and then I'm gonna put more into crew um, I'm thinking about putting two cannons back here putting two cannons in the front as in total I think we're gonna need around 18 probably 18 NPCs right now I don't know why I didn't I don't have all of Scoobs as NPCs I should in fact the cannons should be completely full but they're not so we might have to go over to a free port right now and recruit some more people that way we can have a full crew and we can go off and try maybe to kill a ship of the damned but this is amazing this thing is so fast and it's so nice being able to hit shift and move the sails back and forth like that ladies and gentlemen on our way to the free port to get new npcs we found a whale very exciting and i'm very scared because the whales in this game are not i repeat not friendly whatsoever they will destroy your ship in a heartbeat so far i've put about four or five points into let's see for level five i put all my points into weight and i'm trying to do that because when i open okay so here's something weird about the ships when you open your gun, gun ports, when you press R, your ship gets heavier. Uh, yeah, that's not how physics works. I can understand maybe the balance of the weight being slightly different, but yeah, heavier, that doesn't make really any sense whatsoever. So I've been leveling the weight just so I can get more NPCs on here, and when we, we go ahead and we do the, the, the opening of the gun ports, see 6,417 hit this, hit those, open them up, and they goes from 6,417 to 6,900. That's why I was considering doing a weight sale for this, but I think I'll just put some more levels into, um, probably into weight a little bit, and then maybe kind of decide from that point. Um, I need to see how much the crew's gonna weigh. I'm probably, when I open the, the, the ports, I'm probably going to be pushing around 7,000, which, like I said before, is 75% of the weight. I want to stay under 75% of the weight so we can get going full speed. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you the well. wanted to talk about the weight. We're going up to the upper left-hand corner. If I go ahead and show you this, we are going up here. This is a free port right here. We're going to go up there. We'll see you guys up there in a minute. I don't know what happened. They came out of nowhere. They came out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. I'm running. I'm running. We don't have the cannons to take them on right now. Switch the sails over. Oh. Now, see, this is what I wanted to test. Holy crap. That was crazy. How fast this schooner is compared to their shots. Oh. 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 <laughs> you missed. You suck. That's level three. That guy, dude, he just came out of nowhere nowhere look how fast this this ship is compared to them oh we just got hit hard though okay we are here this is i don't know what port it's island trading monkey island trading it's in the top left hand corner of a i can't even see that where's this here a1 top left hand corner of a1 so we need six six more lovey doveys here one two Three, four, five, six. Okay. I should be able to just hit J on them and get them all to follow me. Now you gotta pull them out here. Do we have six? 
One, two, three, four. Why do we only have four? One, two, three, four. Recruit. Okay, so here's one of the problems that you kind of have with the NPCs. You can only recruit 10 at a time. Then once you're able to level them up, then you can recruit the rest. Uh, so we're not going to be able to get all the NPCs we need, but we'll be able to get the majority of them. This is one of my favorite islands, guys. Look at this. The waterfalls, the big Buddha lady. I don't think she's actually Buddha lady because she's got a big sword, but you can't see it because it's foggy. Did somebody really put a flag up there? Yeah, they did. They claimed territory right behind the freaking free, free port, which makes it hard to put down fires because if they've set it to where can't, you know, can't put fires on our company place, then that just sucks. All right, so they're all going to jump up here. I love the way that they climb up. And I've got one. One guy. There's two. Come on, gentlemen. For some reason, that one's stuck way over there. There we go. Okay, so now we'll come down here and we'll go ahead and we'll comma these guys. Put a comma there. And I have to go upstairs and I have to get on the wheel. Press R to get... There we go. Okay, so maybe I should take one off the front seat speed cell. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and we'll comma this one here. This one here. That should be all of them, I believe. Is it just replacing some of the other ones? I think it is. No? Okay, we got them all. So, all but two. So, ten, nine, eight. We've got eight cannons. One on each side. Uh, the one that we've got on the right side is completely full. So that's the one that we'll use and we'll go after an SOTD. We're going to go after that low level three one and that's on the starboard side, which is the right side. We've got two people on the sails to help out with that. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit extra time in this video. I'm going to go out. I'm going to see if I can find an, an SOTD. All right, ladies and gentlemen, things are about to get a little bit wild. We're actually right on the border. This is a level four, I believe. We're in the middle of a freaking storm, so I don't know how well this is actually going to work out. So what we need to do... Is he shooting at me? We're shooting at him. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you guys are a little bit off on that. I didn't really want you... Is there only like four guys in there? Yeah, this kind of isn't the way I want. Oh, I need to turn the sails, turn the sails, turn the sails. I wanted to just go by do, and do a quick, like, speed by. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go straight. Or take a left. Oh! Oh, ow! Oh, oh, oh! You got me on that one. Okay, so we're going to take a left. Let's go ahead and we're going to go port side. I'm going to turn the sail. Nope, turning the sails the wrong way because I'm trying to turn the ship as well. Turn around. Turn. Turn. Turning these ships is extremely slow. The, the schooner is actually pretty quick when it comes down. I'm supposed to be taking this guy down the starboard side. But it just turned out that... Yeah, what are you guys shooting at? You're not even coming close to him. There we go. Let's slow down just a little bit. Give our guys a little bit of aiming room. All right, now let's go ahead and speed back up. Got him a little bit. Come on, open the sails. You guys aren't very quick to respond to my commands. Oh, all right. Okay, we got to watch out. Oh, what are you doing over there, dude? You're just going to get in a big fight with us too, huh? Okay, so I'm going to turn to the right. I'm going to try and take this guy starboard because that's where all of our gunners are. Now we got a little bit of wind. We're going to take this guy up the starboard side. Ooh. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that health go down, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, let's see him return some fire and see how he does against my speed. Oh, oh, he got this. He got the mast. Oh, man, that's insane. Okay, so I'm trying to turn. I got to turn the sails as well. Got to keep on the sails. 
Get a little bit of speed. I want to get a little distance from him and let him turn. Is he going to chase us? I got to lead him a little bit to the left over here. I think he's lost aggro. Yeah, see, I'm going to be going... No, stop. See, stop shooting. Idiots. Oh, he's hitting me? Oh, no, that's not good. Level 26? Oh, that is not good at all, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of here. We are out of here. I didn't know that guy was sneaking up on us like that. That's redonkulous. Interference. I call interference. Time out. Time out. Not cool, dude. Interference. Not cool. I'm going to try to outrun him while I take on this guy here. See if we can get up starboard. Starboard, starboard, starboard. Ooh, we might be sinking our, our schooner, ladies and gentlemen. Might be sinking the schooner. Oh, we got luck well kind of lucky on that. Yeah, my strategy did not work at all because I didn't actually do my strategy of zoom by as quickly as we possibly can. Problem is, is I can't I don't think if I let him lose aggro, I think he'll probably you know heal up. He'll probably regen. Oh, this isn't good. We're at we're, we don't have the wind. Let's get into a little bit of wind. We're going for that level 26 though, too. We just beat the ship to the dam, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes, there's booty in the water. Booty in the water. Got to turn around so we don't, you know, attract the attention of this level 26. But I'm going to pull up our sails a little bit. Let's go out and let's get a little bit of booty. Okay, so here's the question. Can I hook it with this? Now, I know he's got NPCs out there. I don't know if I really want them. I know they're a little bit higher level. Really? That's, that's where you decided to... Okay. Yeah. All right, let's try this one more time. Thirteen gold, really? Okay, that's what you get for being in a low-level fight, I guess. We almost got our butts kicked, too. We got a little bit of cannonballs. We got a whole bunch of other stuff. That's actually pretty cool. I can throw all of that ammo and stuff in here. What is that? Small weight sail. Journeyman large wood gun. That's a good blueprint right there. We got one spear bolt. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we did good. How many? Got to watch that level 26. How many levels we get? We're at level 13 now. We got six points available. So let's go ahead and hit two, 16, 17. Okay, that should be the max right there. Is our 18 ship crew uh, to be able to get... All the cannons, and then possibly, let's see, what is it? 10 cannons, 11, 12, let's see, 10, 11, 12 for the mass, 13, 14 for me and Scoobs, 15, 16, 17, 18, so two for each show. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Uh, I don't think I'm, like I said before, I don't think I'm going to be going in and getting those guys. There's probably a couple of decent ones in there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we kicked some butt. It was only level four. It wasn't too great. It wasn't too big. We had a little bit of suspense from that level 26 over there, but we did good. We got the schooner done. I need to repair. I need to get our butts home. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, say thanks for coming to the, to the channel and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Obviously, I can't talk tonight. Um, I was a little bit scatterbrained, sorry about that, but I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did. Hopefully that battle at the end was worth it. We finished the schooner. We're on our way home. Keep gaming, keep doing it at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.